Well, here we are again, Laura Sullivan. Holistic. Here we, here we are. And this is almost like a year since we started this interesting series about you, about should I go gray was your question and exploring that evolution. And we have so, uh, a video in particular where we show you with just a little bit of gray and then you started showing us how you've been exploring all this so now exactly. you're would you consider you're fully gray now have you hit 100 100 100 percent. any of this dark is just my natural dark that's woven through and it's yeah i didn't gray in all one color it's a lot it's a big mix and i'll show it to you <laughs> and it's like sections and patches and but it's all me now it's all pure me no hair coloring and how, how do you feel because i know this was a big deal I feel liberated. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. I feel so liberated because there's no concern about roots anymore. It's just like whatever. And I, and it's been such an adventure to see how it unfolds, uh, what patterns are coming out, what even how it changes. Because it hasn't been consistently the same coloration. It, it's affected things by things like minerals. If I'm trying new mineral supplements and things like that, I might see a bunch of new black hairs suddenly coming out here. I'm like, whoa, look at those. And, and the whole thing is an adventure. And it's also how it happens to fall that day. Mm -hmm. You know, is it falling into my, yesterday when I was working, people were like, oh, you have bangs because somehow these little hairs fell into my face. They were never that way before. They were you know, like, oh, you have bangs. And I was like, oh, okay. Mostly I have it off to this side or I have it this side or um oh, up is a totally different thing up is like right uh, this was so very funny i had a client come to the home and i had to have him come around to the back because the front steps were being repaired so i went out and my hair was up like this and i pushed him and i said oh hi you know come over this way and he said you kind of look like laura uh are you her sister and i was like Oh, Jack, look, it's me. <laughs> I looked like that and you could see my hair. He's like, oh, yes. It's here. But that's how different it looked to see it did. when it was up. It was like super white. It was like, you know, I like have to... my older sister. <laughs> right. Like it does look fantastic, by the way. And I love I love the different shades. It's, it's pretty, pretty fun. gorgeous. It is. And it's different. Like I pull it back and then the, the white headband, as I described, becomes prominent. So all right. of a sudden you see white on the front. But if you let just the very second row come come down, you see how even my crown has gotten really dark now. Yeah. Like yeah. Much cuter shade. So if this is the hairstyle and it comes more forward like that, then these little white bits are just, you know, little accents kind of underneath. And right. you see how, how much darker that looks. It's like a whole different thing oh it is it is I mean, completely different it just it just all depends on which way i push it and how it falls and then it's like one change like back to the white look at that <laughs> like almost instantly like <laughs> it's, wow it's so gorgeous i i thought maybe i should show what it looked like when you first started the exploration shall i okay oh please yeah because it's it's so it's so remarkable how you know, in the beginning, it was like, oh, no, if I look, if I go gray, it's not going to look good. And you were showing how a little bit of gray didn't look so bad. Um, yeah. But now seeing the full gray, I'm thinking I, I, I like the full gray better. I do. I'm you so do much too? Oh, way, way. I looked at the really with all that dark hair and it looked like so severe in a way to me. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I mean, it was interesting. It was fun. I like that part of the process, but yeah, I I love this part of the process. I'm just like being in it, reveling in it every day. And oh, and the next thing, I'm going to put another one of those rosemary sage rinses on because they color it in a different sort of thing. You know, those both of those herbs add a rich kind of deep tone. So I wanted to do this today because the white is pretty white you know, and then I was going to do that rinse tomorrow after I washed it. And I, and, and so later after I would do maybe one or two of those rinses, we'll see what color it takes on because that's the other cool thing. It's, it, it's not a static thing. It's very dynamic and it's influenced by whatever you put on it. Wow. You and by what you're eating. 
like I said, the minerals have really made a difference. I eat more minerals that work and all of a sudden the hair gets darker in the dark parts, you know? So cool. Well, you look so radiant and so healthy okay. and so glamorous. Seriously. <laughs> Well, that's really a, a surprise because I was not expecting that when I let my hair go gray, that suddenly it would be, but I love it. It's really, it's, I feel like more energy because, you know, I consider hair antenna yeah, and that it conducts life force and it comes up and out your, your, through your hair into your environment. It picks up information and brings it to you. So without that coloring on my hair, my hair is more alive, literally. It's just so much more vibrant. I I feel more oh, of that energy that's... in my head and my hair because the coloring, even though I use the most natural things, the most benign, it, it's a, it was a dampening, deadening of, of the ability of it to, to really be an energetic transmitter and receiver. And now that's like, there's nothing in the way, you know? And so it, it, it has more shine yeah. and I feel more life force and I just, yeah, it's just more vibrant. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. Because also you've got more of the variety and shading going on that you don't in that other picture. But I just wanted to turn back to this picture because that's your book. Oh, Cos Awakening Hair uh, Cosmic Antenna. Caring, caring for your cosmic antenna because it's caring for it is like doing all the nice life enhancing things that you can make your hair function better. And I knew it would be happier without hair culling. Just like when I permed it years ago, I knew it was going to be happier without the perms. But, you know, we make these trade-offs because yes. sometimes the, your life force is so much lifted by the look of that color. Or I know people, they get highlights and all of a sudden they just feel so much lighter and brighter. It's worth it in that case, you know? Right. The hair is resilient and it grows and it will be recovered. And so... It's a trade-off. If, if, if coloring it makes you feel better and lifts your life force, then go for it for as right. long as you want to. I'm just saying for me now, I'm really enjoying not, and I am reaping the benefits of so much more life force in my head and hair. So Now, when you say reaping the benefits, how else are you noticing it other than the way it looks? Is there... Well, that's primary, but how it feels, how literally, it just, I mean, I touch it and it's, it's alive. It has so much energy. It's like, I mean, I don't do anything to it. You know, I, I stick it up, you know, at night, you know, I, I'll put it up in a little tie on my head at night like this, just to right. lift roots while I'm sleeping, right. you know, and like, even the other day, I was just like, just as a client came in the door, I was like, whoops, I took it down, went like this. And, um, you know, and I started working on her and she's like, oh, I love your hair. I hadn't even looked in the mirror <laughs> home did or anything. So it, it just falls into an amazing place. And yeah. just, I, I mean, so it's effortless. I don't have to do anything really. I mean, literally I pulled that thing out and just, and she's like, wow, your hair is fabulous. And it's just, thank you. You know, <laughs> thank you goddess Bye. for at this age, giving me hair that is so pleasurable. You look younger. Thanks. You yeah. look younger. So um, we're getting close to our timing. Is there anything you wanted to add? Just that I would love to support and help anyone who is considering going through this process. I just feel like the rewards can be so wonderful. And as I say, I feel liberated. And if anybody wants help, you know, you can also go to my website here, harmonicscott.com and contact me through that. And I'd just love to support you. So it's, for me, it's been fun. So I just want to share the joy. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Laura, for inspiring us all to not be freaked out about this major <laughs> transition that's going to happen at some point or another. If you just consider it an option. Yeah. Don't feel pinned into any. That's it. That's the deal. And I only consider it an option. And so far I'm liking it. So yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. You're welcome. Thank you.